Howdy folks, Nathan coming at you from the back of our old TFL studios and behind me is a 2015 Mini Cooper Countryman All 4 S. <laughs> That's right, it's the turbocharged little guy. Now the reason why we're doing a little video on this vehicle is because it's mine. More importantly, it's my spouse, she who must be obeyed. It's her car. And we just recently got it. We've had it for about three months. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. You guys have been asking about our personal vehicles. And I also wanted to tell you about the buying experience because it was unique and it's something that I will definitely do again. All right, so let's quickly talk about the car itself. Now this is a 2015 Mini Cooper Countryman, all four Turbo S, I think I got it all. So it's all wheel drive and it has a manual transmission. Now that was actually the tricky part of this whole transaction was the fact that my spouse wanted a vehicle that had all wheel drive, was fun to drive, basically could hold our family and a few pets and have a manual transmission. Also something that would be good in Colorado snow. Well, that took the selection down to just a few vehicles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around that vehicle and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit. And then on top of that, we are going to go over some of its finer qualities. And first, fine quality is right here, baby. I love this little engine. This is a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that puts out 181 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. Once again, it's hooked up to a six speed manual transmission, a nice one too, easy to use. Now, is fairly efficient. It's supposed to get 25 miles per gallon city and 31 highway. We've been averaging around 24 with mixed driving. My wife does drive all over Denver all the time. So a lot of that is city driving, but this vehicle really is happy on premium fuel. You can drive it on lower grades, but it's more efficient and it will run better on the expensive stuff, which nowadays isn't all that expensive, which is awesome, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, now, as I mentioned before, it's all wheel drive. This vehicle has an all-wheel drive system that allows up to 100% of the torque to go to the rear wheels. It is a wizard system. It works extremely well in snow. It is not an off-roader. However, if you guys watched a video that Roman did with Tommy a couple years ago, he actually took a Mini Cooper through water and on some light off-roading and it did okay. It wasn't too bad. Now, this vehicle competed against three others and she who must be obeyed really truly honestly wanted something that was fun to drive cargo area is the one place where the mini cooper unfortunately kind of drops out compared to the subaru cross track the jeep renegade and the golf all track those are the vehicles that it went up against as you can see i have kids <laughs> we have kids um but there is just enough storage area in here it can hold uh, 18 cubic feet back here behind the rear seats and 41 cubic feet, which isn't too bad with the seats folded. There is just enough space for my fairly tall kids in the back seat. And as you can see, three seat belts. The older Mini Cooper Countryman's only had two seats in the back, which drove me nuts. But they got rid of that option, thank goodness. This one comes with those seats and they are relatively comfortable except for those who are sitting in the middle seat because there's not a lot of space but you know what this thing does have look up massive sunroof and it has a second sunroof now that second one sorry guys here we go that second sunroof for the back seat passengers it does pop open but it won't slide back only the front one will slide back and the rear one won't pop open unless you have um, this one popped open. See what I'm saying? Otherwise it slides back and it won't allow that one to pop open. Yeah, <laughs> over complex, but it's really cool. Not only that, but she uses it all the time. Now, as I said before, manual transmission, six speed, nice and easy to shift, smooth shifting car. And the reason we wanted this car aside from the fact that it's fun, fairly frugal, actually has a pretty good record in terms of being fairly reliable. A little expensive to maintain, but <laughs> it's, it's a hoot. And one of the things you needed is something that had a short wheelbase and short overhangs and all that, so she could park it downtown. 
and not have to worry. And this car is absolutely right for that. Really good mountain car. That turbocharged engine really moves. So there's that part. Now let's talk about why we didn't buy anything else. I really wanted her to look at two cars in particular. One was the Jeep Renegade, and then we immediately ruled that one out. The reason why, it just wasn't quite what she wanted packaging wise. Then the Golf Alltrack. Now that's the car I wanted. I still think it's a great bargain. The Alltrack gives you a lot and it is really, really good on the road. Except we couldn't find anything within the price range that we were looking for that had all the options that she wanted. And then there was the Subaru Crosstrek. Now the Subaru Crosstrek is a really good car. Safety numbers on it are impressive. It is one of those vehicles that allows you to have really good ground clearance. This only has 6.3 inches of ground clearance, which isn't a lot, but just enough for Colorado snow. The Subaru has more cargo space. It's a little bit more comfortable. It gets really good gas mileage, but it doesn't have a lot of zing to it. And there were two problems. One was the fact that it just didn't give her the driving enjoyment she was looking for. And the other was the dealership we went to, well, let's just say that they were not willing to negotiate with the used one that we looked at. And that was another reason why we decided to go to a different route. And I'm gonna explain that right now. You see, this car came to us from Carvana. Now Carvana did not pay me for this video. They did not give me a discount on this car. They don't even know I'm making this damn video. But I wanted to tell you about it because it was a different type of buying experience. And that to me was something that I was a little nervous about. However, once we got up and going, it was remarkably cool. So here's the thing about Carvana. It is an online car dealership, no haggle, no fuss, no muss. We were able to take care of a lot of the buying process of this vehicle in advance. In other words, with about an hour's worth of work and research online, I was able to get paperwork, all the prerequisites done and not have to worry about sitting in some damn office with some guy saying, let me go get my manager and drink my, you know, my really horrible coffee or whatever and wait two hours, three hours, four hours before we can make a deal. More importantly, Carvana was very fair on our trade-in price. Unlike the dealerships we went to that were offering us very little money, Carvana gave us Blue Book on a vehicle that did have a couple flaws, including a little bit of hail damage and a cracked windshield. The cool part is we were able to do all of that, including the trade-in online. We knew we were getting a fair price. Now this vehicle, we were looking for a car that cost us out the door under $20,000. Now, when I mean under $20,000, I'm saying that's with a warranty. This car had abnormally low mileage. It averaged around 10,000 miles a year, which is why I was willing to pay a little bit extra to get it. Very low mileage. So it was in tip top condition and we were able to get a warranty for four years. And this organization lets you drive the car for up to a week. And if you don't like it for any reason, you can return it and either get another one or get your money back. Awesome stuff. So this is what happened. We went online, we filled out all the paperwork online. Once again, it took about an hour's worth of research and time. We weighed this against other vehicles in its class, the ones I mentioned specifically. This one had the best price and options for the money and a color that my wife didn't mind too much. And whammo, we went and pulled the trigger. Now. There is a problem, and I will go into that in just a second. Actually, there are a couple problems with Carvana. The most notable issue I have is the fact that it has no dealership or lot available in the Rocky Mountain region, not yet. They said they're going to open up one soon. They do have them in other regions. For us to test drive this car, we'd have to go to Nevada, which is a little bit out of the way for us. So. What you have to do is order the vehicle online, drive it around, 
and in a week, if you don't like it, you can return it. So once again, that's pretty cool. When we actually went and took care of buying this vehicle online, we were able to go and have the guy come to our house with a flatbed. This thing was on it. He unrolled this, looked at our car real quick, our trade-in, gave us a check, put the car onto the flatbed, and then let us drive this around the block a few times to make sure everything was cool. And after we signed a few papers, 20 minutes at the most, he was out of there and we were done. Now remember, this isn't just buying this car. It's also getting rid of our trade-in and signing everything over. And on top of that, he was able to get our registration taken care of for this thing. So all we had to do was take the plates off the old car and eventually put them on this one. Now it's a little bit extra money to do that, but it was worth every penny. So everything was taken care of for us. Now there were a couple flaws, one of which was <laughs> they were late dropping this off. You don't want to wait very long to get your car after you pay for it. But we had to wait like over a week, almost two. And the reason why, well, because there was a storm. This thing is from the East Coast and there was a storm that slowed things down and there was some miscommunication. So that was a negative. Another minor negative was the fact that we didn't exactly know all the features that the car had. We knew most of the features the car had. In retrospect, I would have purchased a vehicle that had a backup camera, which this doesn't have, and roof rails. That's about it. Everything else worked out great. I will use Carvana again in the future to buy another used vehicle, without a doubt. So there you go. There's our new car. You guys are asking about what we're driving? This is one of them. And if she ever lets me drive it, I might do another video. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for more news, views, real-world reviews. I'll see you next time.